Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I am super excited. We're going over what's new for 2024 with different model changes and features of these different manufacturers. But what's really exciting for us for 2024, we are now an officially a storyteller dealer. Now with me, I have Hot Sauce. How's it going, Hot Sauce? I'm doing great. His name is Tanner. He goes by Hot Sauce. Welcome to the show. Absolutely. And, and truthfully, let me be the first to welcome you to the General RV family. Do you know what stores we're going to be selling these at? We're still talking about that. Uh, I know we've got a couple in mind, so we're going to be getting through and uh, getting that planned out, but you're going to be seeing them somewhere. So. Guys, make sure you reach out, reach out to Becky. She works at all the stores nationwide. She's our B-Van expert, and she'll be able to tell you what stores that we're going to have them at. I don't care if we have them at one store or every store. I'm just super excited that we are getting our hands on Storyteller. So. Before we begin, Storyteller, tell us a little bit about who Storyteller is. Yeah, so we are this adventure van manufacturer. We are based in Birmingham, Alabama. Roll so Tide! Roll Tide! Eagle. So we're down there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So we're down south. We're a little, you know, we're not up in Elkhart or anywhere else. So uh, we kind of brought this just different van to the market to where it's an open layout where you kind of uh, make it up to whatever you want to uh, just a big open space or to a little homey feel. So, it's something that's a little different. I think you're gonna like it. We can take a look at some different ones and uh, see what you guys think. Great, so we're about to take a look at these B-Vans and make sure you guys stick around to the end because you guys do have some new stuff for 2024 and that's these two units. Heck yeah. Uh, but we're gonna save that to the very end. You guys been making B-Vans for what, four or five years now? Right about about fifth year production. So. Yep. So what's the first one you want to show us? So we can go over, we'll start with the classic mode over here. Let's so we'll take a look. The classic. I really love the color scheme. They kind of use like the Moab color scheme with that red, orange, and yellow. You know, I think, you know, those old Volkswagens that you would see with Absolutely. this type of color scheme. Yeah, so, so what do we got going on here? So the mode is uh, pretty much whenever we first came out, we had the classic. That was our first one. So with that, it was this, this white color. So we kind of stuck with that to be our uh, pretty much first entry level uh, mode. So everything with us is a mode. And as we go through, I'll be able to kind of show you what I mean by mode. So we have the, the mode, we have a stealth mode, beast mode with different models. And so we'll okay. start with the mode. Uh, so again, yeah, like you said, we have our classic striping on this one. It's, it's the only one with this. We go with a bronze wheel with this, uh, just kind of a pretty classic setup. So we always nickname is a classic. So. Okay, so something that I'm noticing, all of these units are on Mercedes and they all look like they have that off-road package. Are you are you making any like of the sleek luxury ones or everything's about that overland style going off the grid? Yeah, so these are all overland. So it, even within our name, we're Storyteller Overland. So we really, we, we hit that. So we go with all terrain tires. These are the BF Goodridge KO2. So all hollow champion style tire. Uh, this is the new all wheel drive chassis. Okay. So it's been absolutely awesome. I've put a lot of miles on it myself. Really great uh, fuel economy, um, and you know Mercedes has made some changes themselves with the new engine, where it's a, it's a twin turbo, more torque. It's it's a it's a great ride, honestly. So nice. This I'm seeing here at MSRP's at two hundred eighty five thousand seven hundred ninety four dollars MSRP. Obviously, we're going to get you a phenomenal sale price. Very nice power awning with LED lights. Oh, wasn't there something on how sale pricing works with Storyteller that's different? Correct. Yeah. So we do a see through price. So. That so I can show that? Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, let's see through. <laughs> so tell us what this means. 181, 321. Yeah, so this see-through price right here, this is 181. So we're fair with, with everybody. And, you know, we want to be able to, uh, that way people can see that. That 181 is what you're going to buy that. So what, general or the dealership? Or the, dealership. Uh, the customer? The customer. Oh, the customer so, pays that. Yeah, so our see-through pricing is going to be what the customer is going to So pay. we can't sell it for more? Nope. I love that. Yep. Transparency. That's it. There. <laughs> but I mean, you still need to call General RV. <laughs> Very cool. So let's continue on with the inside. All right. So we'll come on in here. Kind of show you what I meant by it being open. Ah, yes. That's so, very unique. So, you know, a lot of the time you go into a, a B van and you see this wet bath or a bathroom. So we actually we don't include that like a walk in style. So, right now, and earlier I mentioned everything's a mode with us. It's not set up into drive mode. We call this lounge mode. So with lounge mode, I can sit down, hang out. We have the two chairs up front swiveled around. So everybody can hang out in this 19 foot B van. 19 foot. And so, wow. you know, it's not huge, but it opens up to have more seating and you can have friends, family, everybody else come in and hang out. So from lounge mode, 
We call this our groove lounge. So we can move from lounge mode up to what we call drive mode. So now I can have two passengers right here. Oh, wow, with three point seat belts. Absolutely. So, wow. Dude, I love carrying new stuff. <laughs> got to. So, so now drive mode, and we can make that back down. It's just got these little handles here that you push down, make it down so we're back into lounge mode. Real quick, I'm gonna move this. Yeah, button. yeah, let's do it. So from there, we can go to sleep mode. <gasps> so now, Oh, you have two beds wow. in this 19 foot van. And then this, this moves back so it lays it does, flat. Yeah, so it'll go flat or if you want a different style lounge mode. So you, it can configure into all these different modes. Uh, and with us, like I said, we're in the classic mode. We have the drive mode, lounge mode, sleep mode. And so you can make that back down. And now again, in your 19 foot B van, you have two beds. Wow, Very so cool. two real two beds adults, too. Exactly. Yeah. So you can sleep two adults up here on the main bed. You know, the kids or a guest or whoever can sleep right here. Wow. I love that. Um, no propane on this? No propane. So everything's uh, pretty much, for the most part, we have a full lithium system, so everything's electric on that side. Yep. Um, as far as your hot water and your furnace, it's going to run off a Rickson system, which uses the diesel from the fuel tank. Love it. So, Love it. This is so, guys, if you can look at me, Andrea, this is like so exciting. So one, if you don't know this, I'm not a huge fan of B-Vans, <laughs> right? Never have been. But like this is freaking cool. And we've been seeing a lot of this style in Europe. And to see it come to the U.S. is huge. And again, just the Swiss Army knife mm -hmm. style. Very, very, Absolutely. very thoughtful. And and can you put a bathroom in here or no? Sure can. That's where exactly where I was going with that. So, you know, you're talking about cool and being different and new. Well, this is something that's totally different that you probably haven't seen. So down here is going to be your shower pan. It's going to open up. Oh. Hello. And then you're going to open this cabinet up. And bam. What the heck's going on over wow. here? Wow. Now you can fold this down. Holy smokes. <gasps> so fold it down, unstrap it there. And this is our halo shower system. So from there, you're gonna pull this out. Oh my gosh. Ah, ah. And then water's not getting everywhere because no, it of doesn't. this. It's at, and it's way down at the bottom, so this curtain's not gonna swing out. Oh. But instead of, you know, a lot of the times you have that uh, wet bath in here. Yes. And you're kind of limited on where you can move exactly. your elbows. Exactly. So this one's, walls. exactly, so. Yeah, I think the weighted down part is very, very important. Watch your step, Andrea. I'm good. I see it. That is so cool. That's amazing. I've never. <laughs> I was like trying to like figure out how it would work. <laughs> That's it. And so, you know, to, most of the time, uh, most owners and people using these will just hang this out for a little bit. There's a max air vent right here. Pop it open, let it dry out. It just helps out. But then just to store it back, you're going to roll this up at the bottom. Strap it back up. That is very convenient. And there you go. So it's right back to being that hidden shower that blends with your cabinetry right here. I love it. And it's just, it oh goes my back down. Goodness. I have a step and I can get into my bed and go to sleep. Perfect. <laughs> you, have, you have another B van over there? I do. So that's, uh, that's our beast mode. And we've got a beast mode right back here behind us as well. Can so. we look at that beast mode since it's in natural light? Sure can. Look nice. That's Watch the I'm good. Wow. What do we have for battery life? So uh, this seven percent. Okay. So anything else before we look at the beast mode? No. We'll. Uh, I can show you some other things that uh, the beast mode has that that's in this one as well. So we can move over to that. One. Perfect. And before we take a look at beast mode, we got to give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's episode. One, two, three, Are you looking to make your mark on the RV industry? Well, look no further than Lippert Scouts. As a member of the Lippert Scouts community, you'll have your opportunity to share feedback on products and services that you've used during your adventures. Your insight will be used to drive innovation and development for years to come. You could be the key to unlocking the next big thing in RV. But Lippert Scouts isn't just about making a difference. It's also about connecting fellow RVers and campers in an awesome community, guys. Swap tips, hacks, your favorite camping stories, and make new friends that have that same passion for the outdoors as you do. And if you need support, no problem. There's Lippert customer care team members on that app, always available and willing to help. Guys, join Lippert Scouts today. It's completely free. You can get to it on Facebook, or now they have the app. You can get it for Apple and Android. You can get the full experience at your fingertips. Don't wait, be a part of this great community that is really shaping the future of RV. Join Lippert Scouts today. 
and we're back just like that. So, are we gonna go on the inside of this? Oh, uh, we can, but with us, so you know, actually everything's gonna be one layout. So all of our vans, depending on which one that you go with, you you know, the mode, the, the Mystic, the Stealth, uh, they're all gonna have the same layout. But you go up to our Beast mode here, and really you're gonna get a lot of differences more so on the outside. Perfect. So, so what you're saying is. When we're filming, I can film the inside one time for all of 2024 and just insert it into each video. Sure can. <laughs> we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. But uh, but so tell us what's going on different on the outside here. Yeah. So you want to start from up front? Sure can. So this is our beast mode. So with the beast mode, really, if you put the two next to each other, you're really going to see the differences. So on the front, we have this Tenzing brush guard with the KC lights, your KC driving lights. Yes. You'll also have a front uh, onboard air compressor by ARB. Okay. So a lot of people in this space, you know, if you're going to be doing any uh, driving different terrains, yeah. to the beach, you know, you deflate your tires, but then you can air them right back up. Oh, um, nice. Board. So you have the air compressor underneath the hood mounted to the engine. So, love the love the graphics. Yes. Yeah, so this is our Beast logo. Uh, with the Beast, you, we've always kind of implanted it in on the van, and now we actually just put it on the hood. So it's pretty sweet. Nice. Uh, you also have the KC driving lights up top. Okay. So uh, full KC setup on the front and back. You'll also see as you go around the van, there are perimeter lights around the roof rack. So it's a full, uh, and this is something that's on all of them, it's a full roof rack that you can actually climb onto, hang out on the roof deck, and uh, you know, have guests up there. And a lot of people uh, watch concerts or just want to watch the stars at night, yeah. go up to the roof. So Love that. So with the Beast, we also go to a different tire size. Um, you're going up to a 275 <laughs> BF Goodrich with a different suspension. So this is not standard Mercedes suspension. Uh, it's actually agile off-road. You'll see the difference here with it. It's a little bit more of a lift than you get on the standard Mercedes. So. Okay, cool, cool. You're also getting a different rail system. So your your step to get into the van is made by Owl Vans. Uh, this is their, their uh, side step to get into the entry. You'll have your standard uh, tabletop that folds down. Nice. This is magnetic, so it just folds right back up. It's very lightweight as well. Yeah. Love that. You will be getting the bronze wheels with this one. Very cool. I think the bronze looks real good. Oh, absolutely. You want your bronze striping. Yep. So also with the beast mode, you're going to see that, you know, the, the doors on the on the mode were bare. This one, we actually add this invader rack. The invader rack, you'll be able to put this, this utility box that comes standard on the beast. You can open this up and most of the time people will just use it for storage. Okay. Very cool. Very industrial, very, very beast mode like. Absolutely. So you swing back around. On this door, you also have the invader rack, so it's gonna be on both doors, and we're gonna include the spare tire with this one. Nice. So it comes with the van, with the beast mode. Right. And it's already here on the back. Dude, that ram is like decoration, you know, right. the, whole, the whole spare tire in. That's it. Well, you know, most people like to have it here instead of, you know, being It looks good. So. Yeah. It looks good. There's the ladder to get up on the roof. Yes. Is that an adjustable ladder? This is not, no. So it's mounted to the bottom of the van here. Okay. So you can actually climb up. If you sit here and you shake it, you're not right. gonna feel anything move. It's, That's good. It's mounted very well. It's mounted that roof rack I was telling you about as well. So yeah, no, we were sturdy. just talking about chintzy ladders. I don't like the chintzy ladder. I want something to secure it's, me. That's this right here. So it's actually this is also Al Vans. So this ladder is different than the mode. This uh, okay. This is gonna only come on the beast mode. Nice. And then real quick before we take a look at the other one, um, can you tell us a little bit about what's going on here? Absolutely. So we'll start on this side. Behind this wall, behind this panel, <clears throat> it's going to be your uh, lithionic 16.8 kilowatt lithium system. Yep. So with this lithium system, that's going to give you true off-grid capability to where you can actually take this out into national parks or nice. You don't have to be tied down to a campsite. You go wherever you want to go. You run off your electric lithium battery system, so you can run your AC for you know 10 plus hours, and and just kind of just go wherever you want keep that running you have a second alternator that recharges the, the system while you drive and so that main system is gonna be placed right here behind this wall love that and on this side this is gonna be your water system so you'll have your hookups uh, you'll have a little heat duct here that runs underneath your freshwater tank okay which is stored away behind this uh, this uh, panel here your bed we didn't really go over this earlier but the bed does fold up on both sides so it creates this big open garage space so you put bikes uh, mountain bikes, gravel bikes, or if you want to, you know, use this just for storage. I've seen yeah. all kinds of different things that people have used this for. So, you know, you just have that uh, that open space that I've kind of been going back to the whole time. You can fold it up on both sides, and it's just boom, the whole thing's open. Bada so, bing, bada boom. I love that. It. And then, is there a third van? Uh, there is, and so that's going to be right behind us. That's the Mystic. Let's take a look at that. And please tell us all. Uh, 
everything that's different about the Mystic. Absolutely. So, uh, a lot of it's going to be more of your exterior things. Uh, you're going to have the bronze wheels with the 265B of Goodrich KO2s. But you're going to see a different color. It's more of a blue color with a gold uh, color scheme. So really, you're, you're getting a bit of a different color with this one. You're also getting the Invader rack. Okay. You don't, now, it's not going to have the suspension, but you know, if you decided you want to go with a different suspension or some different modifications by yourself, you know, the Mystic's a good one to go with as well, so. And, and which one's the cheapest one? That'll be the Moe, so that okay. very first one we looked at. And then this one's second? It will be, yep. And so. then that one's third? That's it. Top of the line. You got can it. Can we take a look at that uh, that beast over there? You sure can. Here, let me uh, go this way. So what the heck's going on here? So this is our brand new truck that we just launched yesterday called the Hilt. Oh, you, you launched it yesterday? Just launched it. So. Nice. It's been launched. You're gonna see it's on the Ram 5500 chassis. Uh, it's completely lined with the Patriot lining. It's it's absolutely it's huge, solid, pretty sweet. I don't know if you're gonna check it out yet. No, so. I have not. So we're gonna take a look at it together. First thing I want to comment on: one, love the love the dot, love any type of super seat. But the one thing that I've been preaching for for years is that second cab for the passengers. Absolutely. Nobody does that. Oh, what's even cooler about that is you can actually pass through and crawl through. Let's wow. Now. I don't know if you know this, but we just got back from the Deuce Store show, and not the Dodge part, but like this, like we've seen this. Every, everybody's doing this in Europe, and nobody's doing this in America. So I'm really excited. And something else, is that like a dark coat material? Like, like what is it, like a bed liner? Or? Yeah, very similar. It's, it's called Patriot. So you can actually, it's called what? A Patriot liner. So, Patriot liner, okay, nice. So you can yeah. feel it if it's, uh, it's pretty scratch, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's for so. the rhinos right. when you go to the, um, Adventures. That's it. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> That's it. We'll okay. try, we can go check out the inside. In. Now, what are these? Does these have that same type of pricing? It does actually. So it has wow. a see-through pricing. Oh, uh, I feel like I'm in Europe again. <laughs> wow. So it's uh for select models, it's gonna have a 398 uh, see-through price. What do you mean? So uh, right now with 398. the 398. You know, 398. So like 398 thousand. That's it. America, welcome to Story. <laughs> hey, you guys want off road and safari? That yeah, is that is crazy. Yeah, we're you know we're really excited about this. It's something that I love it. You know I don't think it's really been done. No, you know, not America, so no, no, that We want to bring that to the market here in this industry, and, and you know, and I know I'm reacting bad, but in Europe, I mean, these were six, seven, eight hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Um, that's probably more along the lines of that one, right? I believe so. Yeah, and that's. Yep. A little more custom chassis. work and things like that. For sure. Like but I love this. I love this big U-shaped dinette. Um, I love all the windows, the Euro-style windows. Obviously, this drops down to make a bed. But there's Absolutely. also a bed up there. Bed up top. Wow. Then underneath, here's that pass-through. No way. Oh, that's so cool. Nice. So something else, you know, compared to the vans we were looking at, this is something you didn't get in there. So we have an actual bathroom that you Show can go us. into. So... You'll be able to go in here. It's a pretty good sized bathroom as well. So you'll have your shower, head up here, toilet, Man. sink, and it closes off in this, this capsule here. And I need to sit on the toilet, sir. <laughs> All right. I need to test it. Let and me. I, this countertop feels pretty cool. What is it? You know, I'll have to find out on that one there. Yeah, so I don't know. It feels different. Andrea, this one of the best wet baths I've ever been yeah. in, but it is a plastic toilet. So tanner, hot sauce. <laughs> This is not a prime poop position, <laughs> but again, it's a wet bath, you know, this is, now this probably has some massive tank sizes, doesn't it? It does. It's a, a huge tank, a pretty large fuel tank as well, you know, something like this, you'll be uh, going on a lot of adventures. So large fuel tank, uh, very large water tank, fresh water tanks inside and we'll, as well. So we'll have all these, the, these specs when we actually do a full review on this. Um, but this is just very, very it cool. Is. And I'm actually the most excited about that. Just just saying, um, if you guys need like a brand ambassador where you want to like give a free one of those, hey, I'll make yeah. that I'll make that my daily driver. I'll make that my daily driver. Could you imagine parking that in the HOA? All right. So what the heck is going on? Global Wait, what do you mean global 
So Global Expedition, they're a, a manufacturer based in Springfield, uh, okay. Missouri. So they, they okay. build this. This was uh, more kind of a kind of more of a custom build from what okay. we do. So. So is this is this or something like this going to be on retail lots in the future? Uh, as of right now, it's not. Okay. So, uh, but you know, I guess you never know. But something like that, as of right now, I don't. It, it is not. But. Perfect. Now, now, was this a retail order? Uh, I believe it was a custom order, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. So. Well, if you don't mind, we still like to at least look at it. Yeah, sure. And then, guys, comment down below if there's if you guys are liking this and you want to see this in America. Um, with enough feedback, I mean, we'll make you a spaceship. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, that's if right. If people are buying it. All right, so again, not for sale, not yet anyway, not but yet. You, you guys, got, comment down below. So what do we got going on the outside here? So this is the Global Expedition Patagonia, so very similar uh, lining and everything on the exterior, just a different chassis, a little bit bigger uh, of a box and cab. Yeah, right there you can see that there's a motorcycle in the rear. Uh, th this is something that we saw all over Europe, oh, you know, yeah. um, lots of, lots of manufacturers are building something like this. I love the military grade tires probably an old military chassis you think or is that a brand new chassis you know probably it could, might be brand new but i'm not okay uh, cool uh in europe they were taking like these older chassis oh, yeah. and like retrofitting them yeah. and i mean these suckers look like tanks let's take a look at the inside Oops. thank you sir absolutely yeah. and then hot sauce said that he's not like an expert on this product because they're not <laughs> selling it yet it was more of like a collaboration but oh, um but goodness. you know <laughs> What do you need to know other than wow. USA? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's right. That's all you need to know about this. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, you can tell it's a new one. Nice. The newer chassis as well. Yep. It's a little more open on that. Very, very cool. You got that nice steering wheel. Right here, you got these tables. Nice cabinetry. Please share with us anything that you do know. Yeah, there's, you know, spec wise and things like that, not a whole lot, just besides, you know, you'll be able to make a second bed here as Correct. well. So. You'll, you know, that's what's nice about a lot of these adventure vehicles. You can bring more people, have more sleeping, definitely yeah. more space. So it's, uh, and you know, I always like to say it's the unlimited destination part of these that you can, this, I mean, right, pretty unlimited, so. Now you were saying the owners of this company, they, they've taken this to Africa and Mongolia? Well, they've been all, probably all over the country. I don't know the exact spots, but I know that they've been all over the place. So, wow. And you'll see vehicles like this just everywhere. Everywhere. So. Yeah. There is no the the you don't go where the road takes you that's right you go where that's your so steering cool. wheel takes that's right you. you make your own road <laughs> yeah look at this and then look at that place for the crock pot yeah or it was funny in europe there was places for the coffee machines <laughs> it was espressos <laughs> look at this this is awesome oh, yeah. wow perfect come on down andrea watch your step oh i'm having too much fun in here i know we got some big steps i'm good Think we spy one of these? Yes. Yes. All right. We'll we'll we'll, we'll run the credit report. <laughs> Hot sauce, Tanner. Absolutely. Thank you hey, so absolutely. much for uh, doing this today. Of course. We are super excited. When I heard the story that we were becoming a storyteller dealer, you know, we got really really excited, so we wanted to come here right away. What do you want to say to America? Absolutely. Uh, we're just happy to be with you guys as well. Uh, we love being in this space. We love what we do. I'm uh, just bringing this uh, to wherever we can. So perfect. Love it. And again, I'm not exactly sure what General RVs will be selling this. Click the link down below. Reach out to Becky, who is our Class B specialist. She'll know what stores. She'll be able to get you the phenomenal transparent pricing. And we're going to make sure that you guys get taken care of the best way that we can. Andre, anything you want to say? Yes. Let us know down in the comments what you think. Guys. Yes. Um, this was really incredible having this experience. Uh, we hope you guys enjoy the show. Thank you again. You know, it's a pleasure to do this. Great. Thank you so much, Andrea. And Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you, you next time. time.